All right. Okay, so we're going to start off by going to um, one of our Schoology um, sites right here. I'm going to go to Updates. On the updates, there are two Arduino codes. Um, we're going to start off with the Lightcube demonstration code. We're going to download this onto your desktop. And we're going to double click this. Okay, let Arduino open. It needs to create a folder. You just say OK. Okay, that only needs to be done one time. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my Arduino. We're going to go Tools over here. We need to go, um, this usually defaults to Uno. Um, so we got to go Tools. It should say Uno. I want you guys to put it on Nano. Okay, because our, our chip is a Nano. And then we need to go to Processor and make sure Old Bootlegger or Bootloader is, is clicked. Then we're going to go to Tools, and you want to make sure that your serial com, um, this particular port, which is the USB port, is selected. Sorry, there's someone furiously practicing piano next door. Um, okay, so we're going to make sure all that's done, and then we're going to upload this. Okay, it's going to take a second. It's going to compile the sketch. And then it's going to upload um, the little nano light and then jump, done uploading. Your uh, light cube should jump to light and or jump to life. And this is actually going to be um, kind of performing the way that our, you know, just showing the different things that the light cube can do. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back, um, back to Schoology. We're going to do Vixen Arduino Connection. I'm going to download that guy. Um, it may be named something slightly different, but it needs to have the word Vixen in it. Okay. And I'm going to open this. It's going to do the same thing. Okay. We want a yes. We want to create a folder for it. And we're going to go over here to Tools. Okay. Make sure that it's Nano. You may have to set it again. Make sure that it is old bootloader, okay? And make sure that it is port COM4 or, you know, COM3, COM5, whatever, whatever it says that it's plugged into. Make sure that there's a check mark there. If there is no check mark, you have to check it, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this to my uh, Arduino. And the, uh, the Lightcube demonstration file will stop working. If it, um, if it happens successfully, there should be no activity on the Arduino right now. Okay, so once we have that code inside the Arduino, you're done. Hang on. Okay, so, um, so now that that's loaded in, we're going to close out Arduino, okay? We're going to open up Vixen, okay? Vixen's this little, like, reindeer down at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to uh, open that guy, and it looks like this, okay? So we're going to go to the setup display, okay? And um, we're going to pretend that all of this stuff is gone, okay? And we're going to delete this as well, okay? So we're going to set this up like it's brand new, okay? You only have to do this once. So I'm going to go um, to single item over here on the left, and we're going to talk about each of our LED towers. So the first thing we're going to do is say LED 1, hit OK. We want no dimming curve for this. It's either just going to be on or off, so no on that. Um, you can put the specific color of your Arduino, I or just put red, okay? And we'll say OK. And that adds that right there. We have to do this for each of the nine towers on the LED. So I'm going to go plus over here, two, and we're going to keep going. No on this. I'm going to change this to red and hit OK and OK. And I'm going to keep going and I'm going to do nine of these. You don't have to watch me do this, but I'm going to keep going. Okay, so I have all nine over here on the left. 
okay? And I'm gonna do three more, and this is gonna correspond with the upper, the middle, and the lower levels. Okay, perfect. So now we have all of these 12 right here. Over on the right, we're gonna go down and we're gonna select generic serial, okay? And we're gonna add this. We're gonna hit okay. So right here, there are 12 outputs on this particular controller. You can see actually there's 12 lines here. So we say okay, and then we open them up like this. And what we need to do is connect our lines here with our outputs over here. So what we do is we select the top one, I hold the shift key and then select the bottom one and it selects them all in order. Over here, same thing, output one, shift key, output 12. And then I go down and I hit patch elements. If I've done this correctly on the graphical view, it looks like this, where there's a, a straight path LED to output one, and then all the way down to lower to output 12. I'm gonna hit okay with that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go set up display again. Okay, and instead of, everything should already be set. Like you don't have to do this more than once, okay? So I'm gonna double click on generic serial and go set up change serial port. And it's gonna be COM4, but instead of 57600, I'm gonna to go to 9600. This refers to the language that the computer is speaking with the Arduino. And we set it to 9600 on the other one. So this is gonna be okay and okay. Now when I click that, if you look at the Arduino, there should be a tiny LED light that is flickering like a hummingbird right now. It is really flashing a lot. And that means that it worked, okay? Over here, we wanna hit okay again. All right, and then we're gonna go new sequence. Okay, so for this, there may be um, a, a window over here on the left. You can just close that out. You don't need it. It has like all these kind of light functions on the left. Um, over here on the right, we're going to keep closing these out. We don't need any, oops, we don't need any of those. We're going to use this program very, very simply. It's a huge program. You can do a lot with it, but we're going to keep it real simple. We're going to go audio, associate audio, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for my, in, usually in the downloads, I'm going to look for my MP3 that I pulled in. So I'm going to use this, uh, this one right here, and I'm going to put it in. And we'll hit yes, okay. And there we go. So there's the waveform of the song. And if you hit play, okay, it's kind of fun. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go tools because it's gonna be kind of hard to look at this waveform and understand what's happening. So I'm gonna go tools and audio and beat bar detection. This is gonna be key to success here. Under bars, we want to click on the bars, and I actually want you to do R255G255B0. This is going to give me a yellow color right there. And I hit OK. Beat counts, same thing. 255, 255, and that one's going to be zero. Again, bright yellow. I think it shows up against the gray pretty well. We're going to go generate and takes a second and then it's gonna throw in all the beat markings for the whole thing. Okay, there's the whole thing. Um, right here under snap strength, I wanna turn it on to four. Okay, and then make sure that this is highlighted. You can turn it on and off. I want it with the little box around it. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on the time a little bit. Okay, and kind of show you guys how to turn an LED on. So if I want one LED on, and I want it to be on on the top row here, I'm going to right click and go add effects. Now there's all these different kinds of effects that you can do if you're using certain kinds of LEDs, but we're just doing on off LEDs, simple LEDs. So the only thing we have available to us is set level. That's it. I'm gonna go set level. And what this means is that for this period of time, it's gonna turn it